The Reactron Overdrive project is built upon the idea that connected machines should be minimally complex to create arbitrarily complex results. When they are simple, devices can be robust and easy to debug. They stay inexpensive and may be redundantly arranged to handle failures. One step is to decouple the human interface. A system of fairly simple human integration devices concentrates only on interactions, whereas actual results are affected by any number of data and material processors. These may interact with each other in complex combinations in order to return a result. The number of output device types is unlimited, but I will integrate a coffee maker as an example of making stuff happen in the physical world. RF and TCP IP allow connection to various modules wherever they are in the room or in the world. The current version of the interface device employs a BeagleBone Black enabling the use of open source voice recognition and synthesis. An Arduino clone and RF transceiver enables the Reactron interface responsible for connecting all the various modules to each other. PIR sensors and an ultrasonic sensor handle gesture interactions, a small screen may output data, and some RGB LEDs can indicate status from a distance. A microphone and speaker handle the speech interface, allowing the human to interact without using the hand-eye system, which might otherwise be engaged. All parts and code will be made open source so that anyone may create a module. The main idea is for passive and asynchronous interactions to cover about 80% of life augmentation. As devices become numerous, it is important that they organize themselves and do simple jobs without any human interference. I don't want to have the entire Internet of Things at my disposal so I can control more things. I have enough to do. Instead, I want an integrated culture of small machines that use the Internet so that I don't have to. I want to enjoy my life with as little undesired screen time as possible. There's a lot more to it, but check out the Reactron Overdrive project on Hackaday for the details.